want you to die. Death comes for us all. But couldn't it have come a little later this time? No, Mama. There's no hope for him now, Travis. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 movie characters we didn't want to die. I love you. For this list, same rules apply as last time. Characters must be confirmed dead, but may have sporadic afterlife appearances down the road. I will take the ring, and you will beg for death before the end. Full-blown resurrections are out, though. If you think there's a character that should be on here, be sure to check out our first list of the top 10 movie characters we didn't want to die. Everyone knew that whoever let the sadness overtake him would sink into the swamp. Oh, and for obvious reasons, this list gets a massive spoiler alert. I was like you once. So worried about duty and obligation, I couldn't see past my own uniform. Number 10. Johnny Cade, The Outsiders. Just tell him it's Pony Boy and Johnny, man, he'll come. The shyest member of the Greasers was also famed for being one of the bravest. After leaping to the defense of his close friend Pony Boy and helping rescue children from a burning church, it's safe to say that the teenage gang member had more heroism in him than anyone could have thought. We liked him so much that when he succumbed to his burns, he left us with an empty hole in our hearts. Johnny, you okay? Oh yeah, just hurt sometimes. A tragic death for a tragic character. We'll always stay gold for you, Johnny. Stay gold? Pony boy. Stay gold. Number nine, Thomas Tommy Ryan, Titanic. Will you give us a chance to live, you limey bastard? I've seen any man who tries to get past me get back! Who doesn't love a good-hearted Irish friend? I'm Tommy Ryan. Befriending Jack Dawson on the famous Titanic, Tommy was a third-class passenger with a strong admiration for Jack's drawings. Did you make any money with your drawings? Brash and witty in his nature, he's shown to be one of the most fun characters in the film, with his chimney smoking and classic arm wrestling. <laughs> But due to a simple miscommunication, it's a tragic gunshot wound that brings the Irishman down and brings on our own tears. <laughs> James Cameron was so impressed with Jason Barry's performance in the small role that the director gave him a bigger part, but only so Tommy could be quickly taken away. Number 8. Dr. King Schultz, Django Unchained I'm Dr. King Schultz. This is my horse, Fritz. Quentin Tarantino's new favorite actor certainly earned the love of everyone in the audience in this Western drama. It's like a reward. You kill people and they give you a reward? Ooh, certain people, yeah. Christoph Waltz's charm, intelligence, and wit are unmatched against his co-stars. But sadly, it's his character's pride that lets him down in the film's climax. Well, you paraphrasing a tad, but... but... I was a general gist. Dismayed and disrespected by Calvin Candy, the dentist turned bounty hunter lays one final mark on his legacy. And since I never wish to see you again, to you, sir, I say goodbye. Gasps were felt across the theaters as Schultz is fired straight into the bookcase without hesitation, ending the life of our favorite character. I couldn't resist. To you, Doctor, we say Auf Wiedersehen. You really want me to shake your hand? Number 7. Trinity, The Matrix Revolutions Oh, how the mighty have fallen since first appearing in the original sci-fi action hit to launch this franchise. Do it. If you don't, he'll kill us both. The stoic heroine of The Matrix trilogy, Trinity has had two rolls of the dice with death, but sadly couldn't survive the second. After being rescued from a devastating fall in the last movie, Trinity is saved just to be killed off at a later date by a sci-fi traffic collision. We made it. He said we would. A badass companion lasting through the entire series, we only wished she could have made it to the end. I've gone as far as I can. Number 6. Danny Archer, 
blood diamond. <laughs> oh, Leo, you really know how to make us weep. <laughs> In the depths of the Sierra Leone Civil War, Danny Archer is the suave Rhodesian gunrunner set on a life outside of Africa. In his acts of selflessness, Archer helps his newfound friend Vandy capture the illustrious diamond, giving his own life in the process. <sighs> Dying upon the peak plains of the African continent, Archer laments his homeland and succumbs to his wounds peacefully. We're not crying, it's just ninjas cutting onions. Number five, Dr. Grace Augustine, Avatar. I would die to get samples. It should be noted by now that we never want to see Sigourney Weaver die in a sci-fi epic. Sadly, the xenobotanist suffers at the hands of her NDA superiors in James Cameron's movie-making Leap. There is something really interesting going on in there biologically. After having a change of heart towards the Navi clan, Grace sees the evils of humanity's attack and dies at the Tree of Souls in the comfort of her new ideology. Her wounds were too great. It was not enough time. Devastating and heartbreaking, we would really appreciate it if Sigourney Weaver would stop dying in sci-fi movies, please. Yeah, we know we said that already. She is with A1 now. Number 4. Fred Weasley, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 You okay, Freddy? Yeah. It's safe to say that the conclusion to this epic wizarding franchise caused more rivers of tears than any other film in the series. After seeing the mischief and misadventures of the Weasley twins for seven previous films, it only seems fair to have death break up the twosome, right? <laughs> But Fred's death wasn't the only heartbreaker in Part 2, as we also see the stoic Snape see the light at the end of the tunnel, and indeed in Harry's eyes. You have your mother's eyes. But with Fred Weasley being such a fun and friendly character right from the start, his death seems to have left us with a more bitter taste. <laughs> Number 3. Artax, The Never-Ending Story What is it, Artax? Is it time to go already? As deadly as it sounds, the Swamps of Sadness claim their victims by letting them wallow in the depths of their own depression. Somewhere in the deadly Swamps of Sadness. In this scene, a Treyu's faithful horse can't make it past the fear that lurks in his heart when he begins to drown in the swamps themselves. Come on, Artex. What's worse than losing our companion is a Treyu, who, desperate to save his equine friend, lets out screams and tears that are only met with inevitable silence. You're my friend! I love you! Excuse us while we pick up the pieces of our heart. Oh, please! Number 2. Captain James T. Kirk, Star Trek Generations A legacy that seems impossible to match is that of the original Star Trek captain. We make a difference. Oh yes, we made a difference. With confidence that was as invincible as his own skin, you would never expect Kirk to bite the bullet at the hands of Tolian Soren, played by Malcolm McDowell, in this seventh Star Trek film. The rage of fans was felt in the form of massive backlash that resulted in the British actor receiving real-life death threats for ending the life of Captain Kirk. At least I could do. For the captain of the Enterprise. Now that's the type of fandom you do not want to enrage. Oh my. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I 
if there's anything you need, I won't be far away. Number one, Joe Brody, Godzilla. Sandra? Brian Cranston deserves answers about his wife's death. And we'd like answers about his, please. Some entries on this list had fitting deaths to suit their characters, whereas Joe Brody was probably the most eye-catching, entertaining, and interesting human character in the entire film. And yet, he's killed off about halfway through, leaving us with a fairly dull bunch. It doesn't help that the trailers touted Brody as a main character, but in reality, we're only given a glimpse of the gem that was Joe before he swept away. Whatever it takes. Whatever it is. We can see the other entries as having sad but meaningful deaths, but Brody's was just a depressing missed opportunity. We're losing him. Joe, can you hear me? Do you agree with our list? That's all right. Which movie character would you have rather seen live on? For more tragic top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah. <sighs>